Now, this one here, show that y is x cubic plus 3x plus 1 satisfies y third prime plus x y double prime minus 2 y prime equals 0. So here now, if I told you now that if y is x cubic plus 3x plus 1, and I need you now to show me that y third prime plus y x double prime minus 2 y prime equals 0. So the first step, as you see from this equation, I need to find y prime and y double prime and y third prime. So y prime it will be so y prime now is 3 x squared plus 3. Is this right? Yes. And y double prime is 6x. And y third prime is 6. This is y prime and y double prime and y third prime. So the first step now, I found them. Then the second step. I use or I try now to check if this satisfies this equation or no. Now, where's my third prime? This one. Let's change the color now. 6 plus x, y, w prime. This one. Uh, which is 6x times x minus 2 times y prime. Where's y prime? It's a 3x squared plus a 3. Is it clear? Just I substitute y prime and y double prime and y third prime. Is it clear? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. And yes. now after that, 6 plus 6x six squared minus, let's distribute now negative 2 in the first one. It will be negative 6x six 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 squared minus 6. Now, I want to check if it is 0 or no, because he asked me to, to prove that y the third prime plus xy double prime minus 2y prime equals 0. Then 6 cancel 6. 6x squared cancel negative 6x squared, so which is equal to 0. So I satisfy it now. Teacher, from where x comes? Yeah? 6x plus uh, 6x times x. From where the other x okay. comes? Okay, look here. Here we have x, y, double prime. Y double, y double prime is 6x. And this is x, I wrote it here. Is okay, it clear? Thank you, teacher. Is it clear now, Hannah? Yes. Okay. Yes. Now look at the second one here. In the second one, he, they told me that if y is equal 1 over x, show me that x cubic times y double prime plus x squared y prime minus xy equals zero. This is the equation I want to show or to prove it. So what do I need to find? I need to find what? y prime y and y and double y prime w. only. So this one is x raised to the power negative one. Yes? Yes, x cubic y uh, prime. Hey, rule will no, no, equation. No, here they're just an equation. I want you to show to I need to prove it. Oh, okay. So y is one over x or oh, x to the power negative one. So y double prime it will be negative one x raised to the power negative two. 
or negative one over x raised to the power two. And y third prime is negative one times negative two is two, x raised to the power negative three. Is it clear? Yes, teacher. Y prime. I have X raised to the power negative one. Here. X raised to the power negative one. Remember X raised to the power N. So the first derivative will be N, X raised to the power N minus one, which is negative one, X, raised to the power of negative 1 minus 1, which is negative 2. And I can write it now as negative 1 over x squared. Now, how can we find y third, uh, second prime? Go back to this one. Negative 1 times negative 2 x raised to the power negative 2 minus 1, which is 2 x raised to the power negative 3 or I can write it as 2 over x cubed. Then, x cubed, where's x cubed? Oh, sorry, oh, sorry, I have to write x cubed times y double prime. What is the value of y double prime? 2x to the power negative 3. 2, uh, 2 over x cubed plus x squared y prime. Where's y prime? which is negative one over negative x one over x uh, minus two. x times y, which is where's y? It is one over x. Now then, x cubic, cancel x cubic. So it is two plus this one, cancel this one. It's negative one and this x, Cancel x, so it's negative 1. Does it equal 0? 2 plus negative 2 is 0. So, yes, I prove it now. Is it easy? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Here, just we have to uh, prove now, oh, as a y is 1 over x, we have to satisfy that x cubic y second prime plus x squared y prime minus x y equals zero. So I need to find x prime, x double prime, uh, sorry, y prime and y double prime, and then I substitute them in this equation to check that if it's zero or no. Now for this one, show that now here we have to do the same, but y now is x sine x. Here now we are going to the trigonometric function, x sine x. Show me that y double prime plus y is equal to two cosine x. So what did I need to find now? Uh, y prime y double prime thank you i need to find y prime and y double prime so now y prime is the first function which is x times the derivative of the second one what is the derivative of sine cosine and x Sorry. Plus the second one times the derivative of the first one. The derivative of x is one. one. So y prime is x cosine x plus sine x. This is y prime. Is it clear? Yes. Now, let's find now y double prime. y double prime is 
Now, first we have to differentiate to find the differentiation of the first one. X times the derivation of the second function, which is negative sine x. x. Plus the second function, which is cosine x, times the Times derivation one. of the first function, which is one. Then plus the derivation of sine is cosine x. Cosine, thank you. So now I have, let's now simplify it. We will say it's negative x sine x plus two cosine x. Is it clear? Yes, teacher. Yes. So now, we conclude that we have an y prime, sorry, y prime equal x cosine x plus sine x, and y double prime is negative x sine x plus 2 cosine x. So now I have y prime and y double prime. Now let's prove this equation. Let's prove that y double prime minus y is it equal to cosine x. Let's see. First step. So, y double prime, where's y double prime? It is negative x sine x. Plus two cosine x. This is for y double prime. Now, I want now to add it. Two, it's right, please. I want to remove these numbers, put them here. I need a space. So now, back. So y double prime, as I wrote it here, it is negative x sine x. I have to use this one. Negative x sine x plus 2 cosine x. Now, I have to add it to, where is y? x cosine x plus sine x. No, not y double prime, y. It is x here from the question is x sine x, okay? Why it's given, it's x sine x. Now does it equal two cosine x? Yes. How yes? yes it's, uh, then sine minus sine. Sure. Yes. Yes. We cancel the two cosine with each other. So two cosine x is equal to two cosine x. That's what I want to prove. Is it clear now? Yes. Do you have any question? No. Okay. I will stop here now. <laughs>